hi guys welcome back to my channel it is Nello here as always so you guys today I'm going to be doing a quick story time for you guys um <laughs> this is like it's a story that a lot of my friends don't actually believe when I tell them how I moved in with my then boyfriend before marriage okay so I'm going to tell you guys that story today but before we get into it let me show you guys the hair that I'm going to be trying on while I just you guys today so you guys are wondering why I'm looking like this okay let me show you guys the hair that I'm going to be using today it's from a company called so good hair so this is the packaging it came with that's the name of the company there and uh, see I've not been this impressed with like should i say packaging or the things that comes with a product before okay so inside this you're going to find the hair by the way um the hair that i'm going to bring it out of this bag that's not how it came i already put it on on uche i already put it on uche and um, cut out the lace and gave it a part and also trimmed it i'm going to show you guys all that so um i just cut out the lace gave it a trim because i wanted it to be a bob so i cut it down to a bob and just, and just um, plucked it a little bit it didn't even need much work to be honest because um, it came pre-plucked and also they bleached the lace so it was very easy to work with so yeah came with the hair and they also included this very cute bonnet let me open it and show you guys I'm sorry because I'm sure the sound of this bag is so loud in my ears right now um, yeah it came with this bonnet it's so cute I mean, I don't wear the hair 247, but if I were to have hair and I wanted to take my bath, then I'm definitely going to be rocking this. So guys, I feel like it's really, really cute. Um, it came with this. And then lastly, it came with this bag. So this bag right here has a lot of things inside. So it came with a pair of tweezers, which is very thoughtful. I it didn't even see this on time because I would have used it to pluck the hair, but this is good to have. Then it came with a pair of extra band for the hair in case it's too loose or too tight and you want to increase it or reduce it. It came with this, it came with this brush. I think my best part is actually this lashes. This is a beautiful lashes, you guys. It's really, really beautiful. It's not one of those fake hair lashes that, you know, some some come with. Yeah, so this is what the lashes looks like. Um, when I do my makeup later, I'm going to put on these lashes and I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I'm not doing my makeup on camera, by the way. But yeah, it came with that. It came with a whole bunch of pins. Yeah, it came with a bunch of pins. And last but not the least, it came with a wig cap, which I'm going to be using now. And you guys can see that this wig cap is like um, black girl friendly. Sometimes when they send this hair, they send it with wig caps that are not that friendly, but this company sent it with um, a wig cap that is very black girl friendly. So when you bring out the hair, this is what it looks like. I didn't bleach it. I didn't so much as put a foundation. You guys can see the color. It came like this. I didn't touch it. I only plucked it a little bit. And this is what the hair looks like. Hey guys, I already cut it into like a bob. You guys will see in a minute. But um, yes, is a, what's it called? Frontal. Is a frontal, um, pre-bleached. It comes with this band that is adjustable. So I put it in the, uh, what's it called, the smallest one, because I want it to be very tight on my head. So I put it in the smallest one. So let me go ahead, put this on, and get on with the gist. I'm going to leave all the details to this company in my description box, their Instagram, and all the details to where um, this hair was from. It's all going to be in my description box down below. So if you're interested, please do check it out, okay? You guys, what do you think so far? So I cut the hair already because it was just a bit longer, but I already when I chose this hair, I wanted to turn it into a bob, so that's why I just cut it. Um, I already showed you guys the clip of what it looks like. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and actually like bob it while I gist you guys, okay? So <laughs> where do I begin? The thing is, um, I'm using this my straightener for this. I can't even. Remember. I think this is Remington or something. Yeah, Remington. I've had this since 2012, you guys. 2012, and it's still working perfectly to today. So I'm going to be using this to straighten the hair. So just in case you're seeing my face for the first time, hi, I'm Nello, and I've been married now for 
almost six years it's five years five years plus it's going to be six years like in september but anyways i've been married down for a while and before i got married to my husband see coming from an african home you guys know that moving in with your boyfriend is just like eh who do you think you are <laughs> He said, no, no, especially in Nigeria, like it's a no, no for a lot of families, at least 99% of the families in Nigeria would not purposely let you move in with your boyfriend before you actually get married to them. Okay. In fact, even after you're engaged, you're not married, stay in your father's house till they come and pay your bride price and carry you away. Anyways, but my case was actually a little bit different. So that's the story I'm going to tell you guys. So when I met my husband, you guys, I think I've told this story before how I met my husband. Because I feel like the way I met my husband played a major role in the fact that my dad didn't have a problem with me moving in with him even um, before we got engaged, not to talk of married. But anyways, I met him like he was a family friend from the same village and all that good stuff so um that being said just know that we started dating we met in december and we started dating and let's say i moved in with him around august of that same year yeah because we got engaged um like not long after i moved in so <laughs> what happened is okay let me just Fast forward a little bit. After we met, we were talking, the whole forming process. I was still forming. Um, you know, my husband was being patient with me. He was... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. He was being patient with me. I just didn't know what I wanted then. You know, I was... You know, I mean, you guys know what I'm talking about. But basically, um, after the whole process, I announced that I giving the whole thing a chance. I decided to, do you guys see the difference? This is what I want from this hair. This is exactly what I want from this hair. I decided to give the whole thing a chance. I now decided to just give it a try. I was just like, what I told myself was, you know what? If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. I remember my friends then, they were just like, just give it a try. Like, you don't have anything to lose. And then I decided to give it a try. I remember coming to Potako then, because he literally just moved to Potako, um, like, just before we got married. We were already dating when he moved to Potako. So, um... I decided to give it a try. I decided to come to Potako to visit him. Just know that the first time I was supposed to come to Potako here, yeah, my dad, I was living in Abuja by the way, so I was coming from Abuja. My dad was supposed to come to Abuja that same day. Like literally the day I was supposed to come to Potako, my dad was coming to Abuja. And you know, when I heard that he was coming to Abuja, and I told him, okay, since he's coming to Abuja, let me not go to Potakot. Let me stay behind and see him. Then I'll go to Potakot another time. And the man was like, eh? Stay behind and see who. Is it me that is going to marry you? Carry your bags and be going to Potakot, okay? <laughs> it's so funny. And that day or the next day was supposed to be Francis' birthday that year. So it was like the July of 2014. So it was supposed to be his birthday because we met in 2013, December. It was supposed to be his birthday and um, my dad was just like, be going to Potakot. I was not like, no, Potakot is not important. I will go later. And he just told me, see, pump and plane, go to Potakot. Anyways, I packed my bags, they're going to Potakot. But as God had it then, I missed my flight. So I ended up not going to Potakot on that day. I'm just loving this side. I ended up not going to Potakot on that day. So I ended up seeing my dad. We spent some time together. And um, I remember he was staying in Transcorp. Um, we spent some time. Me, him, NJ was there as well. Because I was living in Abuja with NJ then. You guys know NJ now. Banta with NJ here on YouTube. So then the next day, I set out to Portacourt. And as I got to Portacourt, the thing is, mind you, I've been talking to Francis now for months. To him, who I've been dating for months. But to me, it's just like, eh, let's just see where it goes. I'm not saying we're dating, but I'm not saying we're not dating. But let's just see where it goes. So making that decision to come to Potter Court was actually a game changer in my relationship because I feel like if I never made that decision then I won't even be married to him today, we will not be here today. I remember my job didn't even let me travel then because then I had a 9 to 5, the only 9 to 5 I've ever, ever had. I had a 9 to 5 but um, I think it was around the time that I quit the job, the job was even giving me what I had, they did not even want me safe. So. <laughs> I was happy to go but um i left and just decided to go to potakot and it was the best decision i made for my life i swear like literally for my life that's the best decision i made without that i'll not have my kids today i'll not have francis and all that that came with that decision anyways then i got here it was his birthday i remember we went out that day blah 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 so i spent like a week in potakot 
and um, went back. Okay, then from Portacot, Francis and I then went to Enugu to see my uncle, some other family members, you know, it's just, you know. Well, but I see the thing is, as I just came to Portacot then, I already knew that, okay, see, I actually like this guy. Like, I've been talking to him. I kind of already knew the kind of person he was, but like, you know how you have to kind of stay with someone for a while to find out some things. So that was the case then. I really had to see him face to face because I've only seen him like, two times before then only like two times before then not two days but like two times um and so i we both went to together he drove me and we went saw my other family members there everybody liked him and i feel like everybody liking him kind of helped convince me um so everybody liked him we came back to portacourt and then i had to go back to abuja and i remember when i went back to abuja like i didn't even last like Two days, he was already telling me, please, I should come back to Porta Court. He's missing me, you know, as I was very special. Well, as I am very special, he was missing me. <laughs> so, um, I decided to go back. I remember then, you put no NJ, my sister that I put no today. She was like, Nilo, why are you going to see a man in Porta Court? Don't go, you're selling yourself short. Why are you going to see a man? Um, um, he's not even your husband yet. Did <laughs> you NJ, do you remember yourself telling me all these things? It's so funny now, thinking back at it. But I feel like another thing that made me very comfortable was my family's relationship with him. You guys know that we're from the same village, okay? So our parents already know each other. They knew each other before we even met. So, like, there was no, oh, I need to do background search on this person. Is he from a good family? Is he a good person? Because it was so obvious that he was a good person from a good family and very responsible and smart and kind and nice and... <laughs> all that stuff that he is so it wasn't like a scary situation so i feel like my family being friends with his family made it easy for us to just move on quickly okay so he started telling me and you see that next time that i was going back to portacot i basically packed a big box okay i wasn't about to go behind luggage anymore i packed because then i already knew that he wanted to marry me right from time right from like when he came to ask me out so after i now went to portaco that was when i started like falling in love with him and everything and i was just like oh wow this is what i've been missing so when i was going back the next time sis i packed my whole bag i packed everything i moved it to portaco and <laughs> i was there for a while for a few weeks we were having fun chilling going out doing sweet sweet things and then i had to go back to abuja for my friend's wedding and literally like um when I went back to Abuja for Ganzi's wedding, hi Ganzi, I don't even know if she watches my videos. Anyways, when I went back to Abuja for Ganzi's wedding, um, I don't know how the back of this is looking yet. When I went back to Abuja for Ganzi's wedding, after the wedding, he, he flew to Abuja that same day and proposed to me the next day. So the next day after the wedding, I remember Ganzi and her husband, he said that we doing honeymoon, they came out to witness proposal. I'm going to look for a picture of the day we got engaged and add it to the screen. Um, they came out to witness proposal, he proposed to me that next day and then, that same week, I just now packed my remaining things in Abuja in my car before I've been flying. Now I now went by road so that I can carry all my properties to my husband's house, okay? <laughs> I went by road and I carried everything back to to Portacourt. And that was how I started living in Portacourt. Literally, like, see, with Francis and I, it happened really quick. See, when a guy knows, eh, when he knows what he wants, he knows what he wants. All this eh, date for 10 years, date for 20 years, thing. people should forget it. It doesn't work for everybody. I'm not saying it doesn't work at all, but it doesn't work for everybody. So, um, he kind of knew what he wanted. And me, I was just like, see, you can, I don't know, I took a, I took a risk, let me put it that way. Because I wasn't even overthinking then. I was very young, but you guys, I was in my early 20s, I was young. So, um, that's how I moved in with him. We got engaged. And literally, like, three weeks after our engagement, we got engaged on the 24th of August. And, like, on the 13th of September, we did our introduction, which in my village, that is what makes you a married man. See, once you get introduced, you are married, like... You are married. Just carry your bags and be going. So, um, we did our introduction. I think I'm done. I think I'm done straightening this hair. So, um, we did our introduction on the 13th of September. And then, um, our trad was that December. Our white wedding was a few months later in February. And this is us almost six years down the line. And we're still married. 
we're enjoying our lives and um, we're just li literally living our best life so that's a quick story of how i became engaged and how i moved in with my husband even before marriage like my dad did not have a single problem with it whatsoever he did not mind the idea i come from the kind of family that um they believe that before you marry someone you need to actually live with that person to kind of see what you're getting into even my sister Nneka, before her engagement she already left us she was living with her husband with her boyfriend then now they've been married for seven years happily married my sister choma in fact her own even was passed because that one now from year one or whenever it is that they started dating that they're staying together <laughs> so that was even was so um yeah it's same thing with all of us even the guys in my house is just it's just a normal thing my parents are not very strict when it comes to that but like um my my dad at all my mom not a problem my uncles and like it's just a thing that we do in my family generally and it has never failed anyone you guys because of all the flyaways i'm going to be spraying this got to be glue on the hair so that it will stop all the ones that are flying away So yeah, my family, they're not the kind of family to have a problem with stuff like this. See, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. To be honest, it really, it's not by force. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out and you just move on. But you kind of have to move in with that person, live with that person to find out the kind of person that the person you're about to marry is. And that's just our belief. So let me know what you think. How was it for you in your marriage, your husband? Did you guys move in before you got married? I know people abroad, it's kind of the norm there. But for an African home, for a Nigerian parent, it's, it's like abnormal. So let me know what you guys um how it went for you and your own story of how you finally moved in with your husband or did you move in when you guys were dating and all that good stuff but yeah so this is what the hair is looking like what you guys think you guys i'm so obsessed with bob hair like i had to just cut this into a bob because i just love bob so much let me know what you guys think about my fine hair and this quick video i just wanted to come out here show you guys this hair tell you guys my quick story <laughs> You guys don't mind me hope you guys are all doing fine hope you guys are staying safe again this hair is from so good hair this is their name and um i'm going to leave all their details in my description box down below okay do check them out if you're interested the hair is very soft like it's almost too soft um you know those very silky instagram hair that when they are brushing they put it in slow mode they'll not be brushing it so that we'll see this is one of those hair anyways hope you guys are doing fine and staying safe and i will see you guys in my next one okay <laughs>